Okay, hello Alex, hello Andrea, hello Stephanie, welcome to the class, okay? How are you today, guys? Activate your cameras. Hi Alex, how are you? Hi, uh, I'm fine. You're fine, that's good. What about you, Andrea? How are you? Hello, I am fine. You're fine, very good. Nice to listen to you. Stephanie, how are you? Okay, let's see. Uh, Tefi, how are you today? I'm fine, thank you, and you? Very good, I am, I am very good today. Thank you for asking. Alejandra, how are you? Hi, I'm a little sleepy. A little, a little sleepy, okay, that, yeah. but that's good. The important thing is that you are here. So welcome, Alejandra, thank you for being here. Uh, Mauricio, how are you today? Um, happy, and you? Okay, happy. I am very good today. Thank you for asking. Okay, everybody, thank you for being on time in the class. Um, we are going to start, and today we have an interesting class and some interesting activities. Before we start, let's guess some places okay let's get some places so right now we have let me see okay can you see my screen everybody yes 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 okay very good so right now we are going to talk about places so let's start with this okay look at the picture and tell me what's this place andrea what is this place I think a mall. Okay, a mall. Very good. And um, okay. Do we have malls in El Salvador, Andrea? Yes. Yes. Which malls do you know? Um, Metro Centro. Oh, Metro Centro. Okay, that's a good one. So very good. Well, Mauricio. What malls do you know in El Salvador? Um, Ramblas. Ramblas. Where is Ramblas? Um, is it's como Metro Centro. Oh, but where Pero, is it? It's in Santa Tecla. Where is it? Ah, Ramblas, um, Santa Ana. In Santa Ana, okay, okay, so very good. Well, you, that's why I never listen about it. Nunca lo he escuchado. That's why. But Ramblas, new. okay. Oh, it's new. Okay, so okay, very good. So thank you for sharing, Mauricio. What about you, Alex? What malls do you know? Um, Multiplaza and La Gran Vía. Okay, Multiplaza, La Gran Vía, so very good. So we mentioned some, some malls, right? So very good job. Right now, let's move with another place. Please, Alejandra, tell me, what is what is this place? Uh, the theater. Um, okay. Theater right. movie. Oh, repeat again. Theater movie. Ah, so very good. It's a movie theater. Okay, movie theater. So I will write it over here. Um, is there another word to say movie theater, guys? So movie theater, is there another word? Or that's it? Solo cinema. Llamarlo... Ah, cinema. Very good. So we can say... Uh, cinema or movie theater. Very good. Let's see, Alejandra, what movie theaters do you know? Um, the movie theater in Galerias and that. 
and that's it, okay? But that's fine, okay? So the cinema that it's, or the movie theater that is in Galerias. Okay, let's see. Tefi Zavala, what movie theaters do you know? Mm, no lo sé. You don't know? Ha, uh, okay, so do you know the movie theaters? Yes, right? Or no? No. No. <gasps> okay, so we, we have to go and watch a movie at the cinema, okay? But it's okay, Tefi, no problem. Let's see, Rodrigo Castillo, what movie theaters or what cinemas do you know? Mm, I know. Uh, Cinepolis and Cinemark. Okay, so Cinepolis and Cinemark. Pretty good. Okay, so those are good cinemas in, well, in El Salvador. Very good. Let's see now. Um, okay, Mauricio, what cinemas do you know? Um, Multicinemas. Multicinema. Okay, yes, that's another good cinema in El Salvador. Okay. That's that's great, guys. So we are talking about different places, but let's check the next one. Okay. What is this place, Michelle? This place is a school. Ah, very good. It's a school. Do we have a schools in El Salvador? Yes, we have a lot of. Yes, we have a lot of. So we don't we don't mention names about uh, of schools, okay? Because there are a lot of schools in El Salvador. But okay, so and everybody went in the past to the school. So we will not talk about it. Okay. Well, Michelle, tell me, what school did you study in in the past? What school did you study in? I study in. Oh, yes. um, oh, repeat again. I study in technology university. Oh, now you study in uh, technology no, university. Oh, you finished. Three years ago. Okay. Yes. Really? Three years ago. And what is your what is your degree or what what is your career? Is marketing. Okay, that's a good one. So, very good. So, your university, that's nice. Okay, thank you for sharing, Michelle. Well, what about you, Alex? Uh, what school you study? You studied in in the past. Um, I study in school Arturo Ambrogi. Okay, Arturo Ambrogi. Okay, that's a that that's a a, a good school so very good so thank you for sharing now let's move on to our next place okay this is this is very difficult tell me please Estefania Viles what is this place this place a restaurant ah it's a restaurant okay now the question for you is what is your favorite restaurant uh, my favorite is Wendy's. Wendy's, okay, that's a delicious restaurant. So what do you prefer, grabs or hamburgers? Hamburgers. Hamburgers, yes, they, they are They are very delicious. Yeah. So very good, <laughs> Stephanie. Well, what about you, no. Abigail? What is your favorite restaurant? My favorite restaurant is Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut, okay. So, um, well, no. do, do you like, do you prefer pizzas or no. pastas in Pizza Hut? Pizza. Yes, of course, pizza. So very good. Well, thank you for sharing, guys, and for talking about some uh, important restaurants that you like. Well, what about you, Rodrigo? What is your favorite restaurant? My favorite restaurant is Simmerdown. Repeat again. Uh, Simmerdown. Simmerdown. Okay. No, Simmerdown. Simmerdown. Ah, in... okay. Down, see. <laughs> yeah, okay, very good. And what is that <laughs> restaurant about? 
What kind of food can you eat there? Uh, you can eat pizza, pastas, um, meat, um, <laughs> the other. <laughs> wow, okay, so they have a lot of kind of food. So is it delicious, Mauricio? Is that restaurant delicious? Um, yes, um, is, is the restaurant born in Santana? Really? Okay. So, well, that I, I will look for that. Okay. So that's, that, that sounds really interesting. And is it expensive or cheap? A little bit, okay. <laughs> expensive so, and and cheap <laughs> okay okay but it's a good so that's a good restaurant because you have you have options so very good thank you for sharing about that well let's move to our next place so let's pay attention right now to oh alex okay alex tell me what is this place um so no sé cómo se pronuncia en inglés el zoológico Ah, okay. Well, that's a, that's the place. So let's check, guys. How do you say what is the pronunciation of zoológico in English? Zoo. Zoo. No. Zoo. Okay. Zoo. Zoo. So, Alex, what is the pronunciation? Zoo. 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 Very good. Do you like the zoo? No. No. <gasps> okay. <laughs> so come on. Well, here in El Salvador. No, it's not it's not that good, okay? What about you, Andrea? Do you like the zoo? Yes, I like. Yes, okay. Do we have zoos in El Salvador? Andrea, do we have zoos in El Salvador? Um um <clears throat> I don't know. Okay, so let's see. Alejandra, do we have zoos in El Salvador? Can you repeat, please? Yes. Do we have zoos in El Salvador? Do we have a zoo in El Salvador? But I know. No. You don't know. Okay. What about, well, Mauricio, what do you think? Is there a zoo in El Salvador? Um, Fureza. Ah, yes, Fureza. Fureza is one. It's kind of a zoo, okay? It it's similar to a zoo, but it's okay. So, yes, that's the one that we have in El Salvador because I think the other one was closed. Creo que lo cerra el otro lo cerraron, okay? So, we, we have Fureza, okay? So, very good. As you see, we are talking about places in our city. So, today, we will talk about some places that we have in the city and some places that we don't have, okay? So, today to start with our class, oops, I'm sorry. Today, to start with our class, we are going to check the following topic. Everybody, let's talk about there is and there are, okay? There is, there are. So right now, let's check the structure of there is. Please, Michelle, what is the structure for there is? There is a park in the city. There is a, an airport. Okay, thank you. But read this part. Thank you. There is my singular noun. Very good. So there is plus singular noun. Let's pay attention. We have there is, and then we have a singular noun. So what is the singular noun in the first example, Rodrigo? There is a park. So what is the, the singular the singular noun? Uh, the singular. A park. A park. So we have a singular noun. Remember, to talk about singular, we are we are talking about one. A park. So one park. Pretty good. And then in the second example, we have 
uh, we have there is an airport. So please, Steffi, what is the singular noun in example number two? There is. Oh, there is, is the singular noun? Yes, there is, yes. Oh, the singular noun, remember, singular noun. What is the singular noun? In, um, no sé cómo se pronuncia eso. Oh, don't worry. So, repeat after me, Tefi, an airport. An airport. Very good, an airport. So, well, as you see, we are talking about one, one park, one airport, okay? There is one park, there is one airport, okay? So let's teacher, pay attention. Teacher, yes, Steph. Yes. Yo tengo una pregunta. Vaya, eh, con respecto a la pronunciación de, digamos, A, es A o es A? Both are correct, okay? A park or a park. So both are correct, okay? Very good. So okay. now let's read the following information. Let's read about singular nouns. Mauricio, help me with the information for singular nouns. Hola. Oh, Repeat. read, read the info about singular nouns or okay. singular nouns. For singular nouns, we use articles uh, a, a and, or an. A consonant sounds and vowel sounds. Very good. Let's see. Question for Michelle. Michelle, what is a consonant? There is an airport. Oh, consonant? Mm. Consonant. What is a consonant? For example, is letter P a consonant, Michelle? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. yes so letter P? Yes. Ah, very good. So in when we have consonant sounds, so we use A or A. A park, A park, okay? So if we have a letter M, a mole, a mole. So we don't say an mole, okay? Remember, no, that's not correct, guys. So a mole. If we have, uh, Michelle, tell me a consonant, please. MP? Oh, another consonant. Um, L, M. Okay, L. Okay. It, Tefi, tell me a consonant. B, C. Um, okay, B, C. D. D. Okay, so and, more, uh, and, and some others. Okay, very good, Tefi. Thank you. Thank you, Michelle. So pay, pay attention to it. When we have consonants, we have to use A. Uh, Consonant sounds, remember consonant sounds. So, a park, a mall, a bus stop. Okay, so we have different places with a consonant sound. But then we have an for, oops, I'm sorry, it's the other one. So, for vowel sounds. Rodrigo, what is a vowel? A. Uh, A. E. E. I. O. I. U. I. O. N. U. Okay, so very good. Okay, as you see, we have vowels and consonants. Consonants, we have a lot, but vowel sounds, we have five. So in this example, we can see an. Airport, a a airport, an a airport. So we have a vowels, a vowel sound. But let's see what happened, or what do you think that happened if I have 
university. University. What is the correct article? A or N? What do you think, uh, Brian? What do you think? What is the correct article? A or N? Oh, Brian left. Let's see. Alex, what do you think is the correct article? A or N? Is A. A. Why is it A? Because a university start with, with, uh, with letter U, a vowel. Ah, the sound is U. You. The sounds. El sonido, you. you. You, no U. University, no, guys. University, incorrect. University. So that's why we say consonant sounds. Por eso hablamos de sonidos ahorita. Sounds, not letters. Sounds. Perdón. Okay? Very good. So now we have there is. Remember, there is for singular nouns a park, an airport, a cinema, okay? We have for only one uh, noun or, or for only one thing. Now, let's pay attention to plural. Pay attention to plural. So let's pay attention to there are. Please, Alejandra, read the structure, this part, the title. There are false plural nouns. Very good. Help me with the two examples. There are many bus stops in the city. There are some restaurants. Very good. Thank you. As you see, the difference is that we are talking about plural nouns. So we are not talking about one restaurant. We are talking about some restaurants. Remember? Exaggerate letter S. Okay, so bus stops, restaurants. Okay, so we are talking about more than one, más de uno, okay, more than one. But let's see, let's pay attention to, uh, to the information about it. Please, right now, Abigail, help me with the information in plural. In plural. We can't use articles A, no, I, I, we usually use quanti, quant, what do you say? Quantifiers. Quantifiers, few, some, many. Very good. So few, some, and many. Okay. Very good. So remember that when we are talking about A or N, oops. A or N, so we are talking about one, okay? So we cannot say there are a many bus stops. No, a many, no. Or a bus stops, no, because it's in plural. And remember, when we say a or N, we talk about one, okay? So let's see. Uh, well, let me, let me check. We will continue right now with our Next part, as you see, okay, we have, uh, well, in, in this part, we have affirmative sentences using there is and there are. So we are talking about things in the city. Do you have a park? Okay, so is there a park in your city, Alejandra? Is there a park in your city? Mm, yes, but is not um how do you say i don't know it's not famous it's not famous okay so i'm sorry but well you have a park so there is a park you have a park there is a park okay alex do do we have an airport in in el salvador Yes. Uh, ah, uh -huh. An airport, Monseñor Romero, creo que se llama. Yes, that's the name. Okay, so we have an airport. So 
there is an airport, okay? So we are talking about things that we have, okay? Things that we have. But now let's talk about things that we don't have, okay? So maybe, okay, these are some examples. Right now, please, let's pay attention to Stephanie Aviles. Stephanie, read the information, the structure, the structura, come on. There is not, is, isn't a singular, no. There isn't a hospital. Hey, good pronunciation, a hospital. So as you see, okay, we use, we have two options, okay? There is not, or when we are speaking, remember guys, is it common to use? It's common to use contraction. So there isn't a hospital. There isn't a hospital. So as you see, we are talking about things that we don't have, okay? Let's see, Rodrigo, uh, do you have a hospital in your city? Yes, we have. Yes, you have, okay? So you say there is, but maybe imagine in some small cities, they don't have hospitals. So there isn't a hospital. Now let's check a plural, uh, plural examples. Tell me right now, Maria Jose, with the next example. Hello. Maria Jose, hello. Okay, let's check. Alejandra, help me with the next part. There are not, aren't, plus plural noun. Very good. So the complete form, there are not. Contraction, there aren't, okay? So as you see, we, all, we also use plural nouns. So we use playgrounds. Alejandra, I'm sorry. Read the example, okay? There aren't playgrounds in the city. Okay, very good. Playground guys are the games that they are there there are in a park, okay? The games that kids have in a park. So, as you see, there are in playgrounds in the city, okay? This is a playground. But there aren't playgrounds in plural. We are not talking about one, we are talking about uh many, okay? So maybe we have one, but not many, okay? So there aren't playgrounds in the city, okay? Now, is it possible, let me see. Okay, Andrea Orellana, is it possible to use A or N for plural examples? A or N? Andrea. Can you repeat, please? Yes. It's pos is it possible to use A or N in plural examples? Uh, no. So how do we use A or N? Not plural, so we use them in singular, right? Um, okay. Yes, Andrea, in, in singular? In singular, yes. Okay, so tell me one example in singular. There is, there is what? Um, hospital. Oh, very good. So repeat again the complete sentence. There is. Andrea, el ejemplo. Tell me the complete example. There, okay. There is not. There is not, uh huh. Okay, so we have the example over there. There isn't a hospital. Okay, so very good. Let's continue now. Right now, let's check some uh, questions. Okay, so we also have questions. Oops, I'm sorry. We also have questions about there is and there are. But we now 
we change the order of there is and there are. So let's check. Please, Alex, tell me what is the structure for a question in using in singular, in singular, go ahead. Oh, Alex, your microphone. Perdón. Um, the expression is is there plus singular noun. In the example? Uh, is there a zoo in the city? Very good. So as you see, if you say, if you say there is a zoo, it's affirmative. But if you say, is there? Oh, that's a question. Okay, so is there a zoo in the city? Rodrigo, is there a zoo in the city? No. No, no it is. It isn't. No, it isn't or there isn't. Okay, so no. There no, there isn't. isn't. Okay. Very good. So no, oops, I'm sorry. No, there isn't. Or what is the affirmative answer? What is the affirmative answer, Alejandra? Yes, there, there is a, a zoo. Okay, yes, there is a zoo or uh, yes, there is. Okay, so very good. As you see, we use, we answer, yes, there is, no, there isn't. But now let's check in plural, okay? Let's see, Maria Jose, help me with a uh, plural structure. Hello. Hello. Okay. Are there plus plural nouns? Are no, there shops in the city? Very good. As you see, we change the order of the word. There are, no, no, there are, okay? Are there, okay? So remember, if we ask questions, we use first are and then there are there is there and how do you answer to that question abigail are there shops in the city what is the answer la respuesta yes there yes, are yes there are very good and what is the negative answer no there are no there Alex, if you All right, very good. Okay, don't worry, you did it great. So as you see, we have, okay, structures for affirmative, negative, and interrogative form. So you can ask someone, hey, is there a hospital in your city? Or is there a hospital in your neighborhood? Is there a park in your city? Are there shops in your, in your neighborhood? Ah, yes, there are, or no, there aren't, okay? Remember to practice and talk about things that you have and things that you don't have. Okay, right now we are going, give me a second. Oops. Okay, right now we are going to move to our practice time. Okay, everybody, let's move on to our practice and we are going to have different sentences to practice. So right now, let's check, give me a second. Okay, so, in this moment, we are going to do some practices to use uh, there is and there are in the correct form. Let's pay attention to our volunteers. Please, Alejandra, tell me, what is the correct, uh, what is the correct answer? There is or there are? There is, but uh -huh. is this similar? So um... if there is, why is there is? 
But why? Por qué? Why? Because talk uh, a one thing. In this ah. case, appearance. Very good. We talk about or the sentence is about one object or one thing. Okay. So what is the complete sentence, Alejandra? There is a pencil on the desk or this desk yes desk desk very good so there is a pencil on the desk remember the desk is the table that you have on uh, at school okay so that's correct there is well done let's move on and check our next example please tefi savala what is the correct sentence Um, there are. Okay. Why is there are? Porque, Porque eh, bueno, no lo puedo decir en inglés, pero lo voy a decir en español. Okay. Eh, es uh, como para plural. Ah, very good. So it's plural. Is it? It's it plural? Yes. Very good. So because it's plural, because it's plural. So yes, that's right. Read the sentence, Steffi. There are. There are, there are three apples in the, in my bag. <laughs> okay, very good. So there are three apples in my bag. And that's right. Okay, so. That's a correct sentence. Very good. Let's continue right now. Oh, this is this is difficult. So, Andrea, <laughs> tell me right now, Andrea, what is the correct sentence? Mm, there is. There is. Are you sure? Mm, yes. <laughs> okay. So, let's see, Mauricio, is it? There is or there are? What do you think? Um, um, I, it's, a, it's a complicated. I love Too difficult. Complicated. <laughs> okay, complicated. let's check. Um, kids is a. Uh, it's a uh, more okay to uh, I don't know. You don't know. Okay, don't worry. Let's see. Alejandra there has are teacher. There are Tefi. Okay, well, Alejandra, what do you think? There are because in this case children we use uh, more chills or children's boys ah, and girls. Okay, uh -huh. very good. Okay, now let's see. Okay, so Alejandra think that it's plural. Tefi, what do you think? Plural or singular? Plural. Plural, okay. Andrea, what do you think? Children is singular or plural? Um, bueno, lo voy a decir en español. Eh, Según yo, cuando estaba así en plural, tendría que tener la S en children. Por eso pensé okay. que era en singular. Okay. But now, what do you think? Ahora, what do you think? There is, there are. There are. There are. <laughs> okay. So, let's see. You got a good point. Muy buen punto, Andrea. So, most of the, uh, most of the nouns, uh, plural nouns, I mean, Finish in letter S, la mayoría, but not all of them, okay? There are some irregular nouns. So we have, for example, this one. One child and more children, okay? Or many wow. children. Yeah, so okay. yes, that Thank is the you. correct answer, Andrea. Don't worry, okay? You're welcome. So that's correct, okay? We will check, uh, we will check together in the platform some irregular nouns. Regular and irregular nouns, I mean, okay? So let's check, let's continue. Okay, this is kind of difficult. Okay, let's see right now, please, is Stefania Viles, what is the correct sentence? 
a tiger there over is, there? There ah, is. There, there is. Okay, let's check. Yes. Yes, that's correct. So very good. Read the sentence, Stephanie. There is. Uh huh. There is a tiger over there. Very good. Over there. So very good. Nice example. Let's continue. Okay. Mauricio, what is the correct sentence? Um, um, I don't know, ward, wardrobe? Oh, it's a closet. Oh, ah, okay. Um, there is. There is, why? Um, uh, talk about one, one, one wardrobe. Wardrobe? Okay, one wardrobe. Yes, that's right. So, wardrobe. thank you. Thank yes, the wardrobe is uh, well. It's similar to a closet. Okay. Okay. So, very good job. Let's see. Let's continue. We have. Oh, th this is an interesting example. So let's check. We will, uh, we will do the example together, but let's listen to Alejandra. Alejandra, what's the correct sentence? There is or there are? There are because we, we sentence talks uh, more books. Ah, it talks about uh, many books, right? So a lot of everybody, it's the same as many, okay? A lot of many. So a lot of, we have many, okay? So very good. And that's right. So we are talking about no, a lot of book. No, a lot of book, no, a lot of books. So plural, very good. Let's move on. Let's listen right now to Maria Jose. Maria Jose, what is the correct sentence? There is or there are? There is. There is. Okay. Read the complete sentence. There is. There is a cute puppy over there. Okay, a cute puppy. So that's nice. There is. Okay, thank you, Maria Jose. So you did it good. Let's move on to, let's see. Oh, we have another uh, another example. So let's see. Please, Rodrigo, what is the correct sentence? There are 11 players on a soccer team. Okay. Why is it there are? Uh, because they are 11 players. <laughs> Okay, of course, because it's plural, right? <laughs> we are not talking about one, yeah. we are talking about 11. So that's right, okay, because there are 11. So good job, Rodrigo, good job. Okay, thank you. Let's continue with our next, uh, well, our next sentence. What is the correct sentence? Let me see. Alex Avila, what is the correct sentence? Uh, there are. There are, Hi. of course, okay. Continue, uh-huh. Oh, Alex, he's frozen, Hi. okay. Very good. Well, the sentence was correct, Alex, so thank you. Let's move on, everybody, to question 10. Okay, right now, let's listen again. To, well, let's listen to Tefi Savala. Tefi, what is the correct sentence? Um, there is. Okay, there is. Of course, that's correct. There is. Oops, give me a second. We didn't check. There it is. Okay. Now let's move on to example 11. Okay. Now let's see. Let's pay attention to Michelle. Michelle, what is the correct sentence? There are glasses on my head. <laughs> okay, 
there are glasses. That's right. And that's correct. So thank you. Let's continue. Now, 12. What is the correct sentence? Uh, Mauricio, what is the correct sentence now? Um, there are there are many chairs, chairs and desks in this classroom. Very good. There are many. Okay, remember we use many, some or few. Okay, and that's right. So, Andrea, what is the correct sentence? There is. There is. Okay. Yes, that's right. Guys, in this example, even though we are talking about two objects, because we are talking about a sharp word and a TV, so we are talking about two objects, they are different objects. So we can use like, there is a chartboard and there is a TV. Okay, Mauricio, do you have a question? Mm, what is a chartboard? A chartboard, let me see if I have an emoji, okay? But is the one in which you can, well, the teacher explained the class. So let me see, I don't have the emoji. Mm. Mm, uh, um, no, okay, I will, no, no, I will, no Okay, don't worry, I will show you a picture. So, chartboard. This is como el yeso. Eh, como el yeso para la pizarra. No, it's the, the board. No. La tabla. Es la pizarra en realidad. Rainbow. Rainbow. La pizarra. So, yes, this is a chalkboard. Oops. Oh, okay. What happened to a picture? So, yes, this is a chalkboard. So, now you know. And the, well, the thing you use to, is to write on the chalkboard is the chalk. Okay. So, that is the chalk, only chalk, right? Let me see. There you go. So this is the picture of the shelf and the shelf board is the white board or the, or the black board. So very good. New vocabulary. Let's continue. Very good job. Great examples, guys. Now let's move on to example number 14, okay? Example 14, it's for, uh, let me see, well, Let's pay attention to Stephanie Aviles. Okay, Stephanie, what is the correct sentence? What do you think? There are. There are. That. Yes, that. of course, it's correct. So let's check. The last sentence, it's, I think it's easy. So we will do it together. Let's see, please tell me, Andrea, what do you think? What is the correct answer? There are. There are. Okay. So, yeah. So, we are talking about two pictures. Very good. Job. So, let's continue right now. And, oops, I'm sorry. Let's check. Well done. Okay. So, we complete the, te the test or the exam or the quiz. And we have 15 out of 15. So, very good job. We have all the answers correct. Right now, we will continue with another example or another exercise. We also have to complete the sentences using there is or there are, but this is these are the same, well, give me a second. These are the same examples. Okay, so we have this example, I'm sorry, and we will use there is and there are. So we have to use both. Let's see, let's start with Maria Jose. Maria Jose, tell me, sentence number one and sentence number two, what are the correct sentences? Ah, I'm sorry. Okay, uh, tell me the two sentences. Sentence one and sentence two, the correct sentences. The correct sentences. There, there is a pencil on my desk. There are pencils on my desk. Okay, very good. We have the same object. 
a pencil. We have pencil. So we have pencil in singular, pencils in plural. So very good, Maria Jose. Let's continue now. Please pay attention to Alex. Alex, tell me that two sentences. Go ahead. Um, there are three apples in my bag. And there is an apple in my bag. Very good. There are, there is. So we are using the same object, el mismo objeto, guys. But the difference is plural and singular. Very good, Alex. You're, wait, a moment, wait a moment, guys. We are not checking the answers. So number, number one is correct. Number two is correct. So very good job. Let's move on to example number three. Please, right now, help me with examples. Example number three, Andrea. And there are children in the playground. And there is a child in the playground. Very good, a child in the playground. So, oops, I'm sorry. So, as you see, Children, plural, a child, singular. Very good, Andrea, excellent job. So check, we have two stars. Let's move on, please. We have, okay, we have examples about tigers. Tell me, Rodrigo, what are the correct sentences? There is a tiger in this zoo. There are tigers in this zoo. Very good. So there is, there are. Well done, okay. Well, you got it very well, guys. You did it very well today. So let's continue. We have to talk about pen or pens. Now, uh, Alejandra, tell me, what are the correct sentences? There are five pencils in my pencil case. And there is one pen in my pencil case. Nice job. Okay, check. The two sentences are correct. Well done. Let's talk about a cute puppy. Now, uh, Abigail, tell me with the two sentences. Go ahead. They are cute puppies over here. They is cute puppies over here. Okay, over, over there. Over there. Nice, yeah. Okay, good pronunciation. And yes, your sentences are correct. Guys, this is super easy for you. So, Michelle, give me a second. Yes, Michelle, uh, tell me the two sentences. There is a, there is a phone on the desk and there are two phones on the desk. Nice job. Okay, so a phone, two phones. Very good job. Well, let's continue talking about bananas. So let's see, please, in this moment, uh, Stefania Viles, tell me what are the two sentences? There are three bananas on the table, in, and there is one banana on the table. Very good, okay? So we are doing an amazing job. Yes, they are correct. Now let's continue. Let's talk about monkeys, okay? Uh, Mauricio, help me with the two sentences about monkeys. Um, uh, there are five monkeys jumping on the bed. E and there is a monkey jumping on the bed. Nice, yeah. Okay, so that's correct. Okay, now we check and it's correct in the last example. So this, this is, these are the last examples. So let's see right now, please help me with this. Uh, Alejandra, okay, Alejandra, tell me the two sentences, go ahead. There is one chair and there are many chairs. Very good. Okay, it was easy guys, and you did it good. So, uh, well done, we have 10 out of 10. Okay, tenemos un 10 de 10 because we did all these answers correct. So, 
Clats for you guys, clats for you, and congratulations, okay? We got there is and there are very well. Right now, before we finish with our class, let me show you our next activity. Okay. Okay, before we finish with our class, let's check what is our last activity, okay? Our last activity for today, guys, is the homework. Okay, please, uh, Tefi, what is today's homework? Read. Oh, read the homework, Lee. Read the homework. Homework, work on the um, platform and complement, no sé si se pronuncia así, the following activity. It is very good. Okay, so we have to work, thank you, Tefi. We have to work on unit two, okay? So we have to work on 2.0. So we start the unit 2.1, 2.1.1, 2.2, and 2.2.2, okay? Uh, well, in this part, in the grammar, we are going to check the same topic that we have today. Lo mismo que vimos en la clase, guys, es el tema que está ahí. Así que you can, you can read the info, okay, for you to remember, okay, to practice, okay, and complete the activities. Uh, let me see, Stephanie, las actividades de ayer no las puedo encontrar. Guys, I'm so sorry. I am completely sorry, guys. I am really sorry because I didn't send a presentation. El día de ayer no les envié la presentación. Realmente se me escapó, se me fue. Eh, En, el, en la tarde se me escapó enviárselas, pero este día les voy a hacer llegar las dos presentaciones, ok? For you to read and practice. Remember, we have classes until Monday. So tomorrow, guys, no classes. We are free, ok? So on Monday, we continue practicing, ok? So, well, this is all for today. Continue practicing, guys. See you on Monday. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.